delighted uh, to, to, to be involved in such an incredibly popular, uh, successful show. And uh, yeah, just hoping I don't break it. I'd seen season four. I watched it go out live um, before we had spoken about um, me coming in. Uh, and uh, then based on that, I went back and watched one, two and three. And they're just brilliant. I mean, the, the, the storytelling, Chris Lang, how he comes up with these, you know, you start off every um, season with, with a seemingly disparate group of people and you go, how in the name of God are they gonna, how have they ever known each other? Or how have they ever been linked? And then slowly but surely, everything kind of just slots into place. And yeah, he's brilliant. I play uh, Jesse James, Jess, Jessica James, um, who has been hired to uh, replace um, Cassie. Um, and we start off uh, with uh, her first day, which I think it's, it's safe to say that it doesn't go very well. <laughs> uh, she is not firing on all cylinders because of something that happens on her way to work. Um, and herself and Sunny don't click immediately. She's not, her head isn't quite in the right space and he and the rest of the team are quite rightly grieving. Um, and, you know, they're grieving the loss of Cassie and then to add insult to injury, They've got this seemingly incompetent Egypt in as her replacement. Um, but over the series, they, her, you know, Jess and Sonny eventually, hopefully, um, not that they see eye to eye, but they, they have a very honest conversation further down the line about what's going on in, in, in their personal lives, which is impacting their professional um, careers uh, and then things click. Jess comes in and does make some, she's very quick to say, budgets, budgets, budgets. We stick to the budget. We can't be looking at cases that are 70, 80 years old. We've got to concentrate on what's happening now as opposed to, you know, the past. Um, and obviously Sonny feels that, well, we could maybe still stick within budgets, but do both. We can do what we're supposed to do and, you know, solve these open cases. Um, certainly Jess deals with things, and I think it is because of what's happening in her personal life. She's completely blindsided by that and distracted. So things come out in a kind of cack-handed way, whereas if she had to her normal presence of mind, she might be able to manage uh, things better, manage people better, manage herself better. Um, but eventually when, when, when Jess, for want of a better phrase, comes clean with Sonny and, and lets him know what's going on, uh, and then he lets her know what's been going on in his life alongside him grieving for his friend. Um, then they see each other, I think, more as, 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 as people, as humans, as opposed to just work colleagues. Um, and then things improve for, for both of them. It's fair to say that in this uh, season, there's a, there's a much more diverse group of suspects. Like in, in season four, they all, the, the suspects, they all went to university together. Um, and, and previous seasons, you could all see initially, you can go, oh, I can kind of see how they might, they're all maybe of a similar age or, whereas as you say, with this, you've got the young fella who's mugging people, who's a druggie or his partner's a druggie. And then you've got this Tory Lord. And then you've got these people who want to open a restaurant and you kind of, how does that come together? Um, but it does. And I'm not sure I can tell you how it does without giving too much away. But needless to say, uh, Jess and Sonny, you know, put the pieces of the jigsaw together and eventually come up with the final missing piece.
I'm going to say who done it, the murderer. I'm not the fool who did it. No, it is not worth <laughs> it. <laughs> um, I think, you know, as with every season or series of, of um, Unforgotten, you could always be guaranteed of a really, really good, interesting story. Um, and that's obviously down to, to Chris Lang, um, the writer. Um, and, you know, Cassie was a really, really well-loved character. Um, and I think what Chris has done very cleverly is he's mapped out almost also what the audience are going through with with the characters and and with you know with Lindley and and Murray and and all, all the team they are grieving as the audience are um the loss of Cassie um so the team are kind of mirroring what the audience will be doing going oh what she she why is she here she's useless it should be Cassie it should be she, Cassie should be sitting at that desk it shouldn't be this interloper um and that's that's how it is that's how what grief is like you know you don't want someone you you want the person who was there who you loved hopefully um as the series goes on um not that they'll forget cassie but that they will accept jess as as somebody new different but hopefully hopefully um works with sunny as well as, as he did with Cassie. I think, again, it, 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 not to harp on about it, but it, I do think it comes down to the writing and the characters and, you know, it's not, it's not, you know, there's a, there's, there's a place for every type of, of police drama. Um, they can be very procedural. Um, which I would suggest this isn't. It's very, very um, character-led. Um, and again, Chris Lang's head, how he comes up with the stories um, is beyond me. But uh, they're all really, really well-written. And you know, that's reflected in who, and they, the, the, the casting, um, director manages to to get in you know the Tom Courtney's and the Mark Bonner's and the Susan Lynch's Hayley Mills is in this one I mean you're probably too young to remember Hayley Mills you're far too young anyway Hayley Mills Pollyanna um Polly no not bringing any bells um but yeah it's 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 a really good show really good script really good stories what more could you want I worked very, very briefly um, with Sanjeev a couple of years ago in a thing. Our characters never met, so I never saw him apart from one scene. We were like in the back of shot or something. Um, and then when I, when they asked me to do Unforgotten, I thought he's never gonna remember me. But lo and behold, I got a little message into my, he slid into my DMs on Twitter uh, and very kindly said, because the, the, um, the producers had organized for uh, myself and Sanjeev and, and the producers to have lunch um, in, sorry, excuse me, that's really annoying for sound, I'll do that again. Um, the producers had very kindly arranged to, for us all to have lunch and it's kind of getting to know you, all that kind of thing. Um, and Sanjeev sent a message and he went, look, it might be a bit daunting, so do you want to meet up beforehand or um, have a Zoom? And we ended up having a Zoom because at that point, it was actually around this time last year. Uh, Omicron was around, remember that? Um, and so everyone was kind of, you know, locking down again, not locking down, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we ended up doing a Zoom uh, call and we chatted for an hour and he was so kind and thoughtful to think about doing that, that it might be a bit, well, you're coming in, and it might be a bit odd. Um, and yes, I had a lovely time, then had a lovely lunch, and he is quite possibly one of the nicest men in showbiz. Um, and he is as funny as you would expect uh, and hope him to be. Um, like in between takes, you just, just ask him a question, off he goes, anecdotes, and just really good fun. I think everything really 
begins and ends with a really good story, really good script. And then with this particular show, I think what helps is that every single episode has been written by Chris Lang of every series. Every episode has been directed by Andy Wilson, every single one, which is unheard of in TV land. Um, same producers, brilliant uh, Sally Haynes and Laura Mackey, uh, Guy de Glanville producer. Same, just there's a huge continuity um, and everyone loves doing the job. Um, but yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, begins and ends with the story. And it's always a really good story. Uh, and I think, you know, when you watch some crimes or police things or legal things, and you go, mm, I bet he did it, she did it. And I, in all the series I've watched, I've never been able to guess. That could be because I'm not very good at guessing. But I suspect it's down to really good writing. Um, and, and, you know, yeah, really good scripts from Chris. <laughs>